Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new to my channel, what we do here, we're all about loving our collections as they currently are, being critical of new makeup releases, today's video, and being very thoughtful about what we bring into our collection. Is it something that's gonna add value to us personally? Is it something that we're gonna use a lot? These are all things that we take into consideration. And this video is kind of the perfect encompassing of the last two. So it's not an anti-haul. Sometimes I do end up buying things that I talk about. I want to praise the makeup releases that I think are worth praising, as well as have some fun being critical of the things that I think are worthy of being critical of and doing it in like a fun fashion. So get a, get a back and a popcorn. Get ready to get sassy, sip some tea, whatever you need to do is gonna make you happy. Go ahead and do that. If you are new here and you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe. But the two, the two things I'm gonna ask you, and I don't normally always like, I mean, I mention it, but I'm gonna ask you to do these two things. Critical Sass is basically my best performing series on my channel. And if you like Critical Sass and you have a friend that you think would like Critical Sass or a group of friends or some kind of online forum, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and say that. And you feel like sharing me because you think that I would add value to that conversation wherever you would share it. I would really appreciate it if you share it. But if, you're, if you don't wanna do that, if you don't wanna do that, just hit that like button so that my little video gets in the eyes of more people. And I would really appreciate that. If you want to take it a step further, if you want to take it a step further, I'm also on Patreon and you can donate up to $1 a month as to as much money as you want to spend on me <laughs> monthly as you'd like. Right now, I am currently in the midst of reviewing the Rare Tinted Moisturizer. So if you are interested in the Rare Tinted Moisturizer, you can go ahead and go to my Patreon and you get first access to clips that will eventually be in the video. But also I do extra videos there that you cannot get on here. But I thought that would be a fun way to get my patrons included in my reviews and get them, you're getting real time, real time review. You're getting it as I'm getting it. Album of the day, Crash by Charlie XCX. Charlie just announced that she is going to do a show in my city and I'm going. I'm going. It's going to be so gay. I'm so excited. All right, let's get to the video. So what I do is I scroll through the Instagram accounts like Makeup Release Radar, Beauty News Official, the, the OG Trend Mood one, and then sometimes I do check out Chic Profile Official when I really want to get, when I really want to talk about some expensive things. That's what we're going to do. Now, I haven't peeped, I haven't seen anything. Oh, there's like one thing that I know for sure that I want to talk about and like other things that I've seen come in and out. The first thing, I already have Trend Mood pulled up. It was the first thing, and I actually looked at this yesterday. Trixie Cosmetics is releasing cream blushes and then also brushes. If you're not, if you are new here, I have a complex relationship. I like Trixie. I like the Trixie the drag performer. I I do not care about this cosmetics line as at all. I'm sure the brushes, like, I, I don't know. I would never buy these brushes. I also... I'm I'm still using and thinking about, and I'm going to put it up on my channel, a review of the Sonia G Pro Fusion brushes. I have been using them for a while and I have thoughts on it, but I also use Wayne Goss brushes. So I, I do kind of like, I don't know, I've kind of moved on from synthetic brushes kind of altogether. And if I was gonna use a synthetic brush, I would probably buy it from one of these brands as well. Does that make sense? So like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, not that one can't purchase a more inexpensive brush that's more mass produced and still have a really nice brush, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these probably aren't going to be like handmade, whatever, because they're about ten dollars each. Although the brush holder really cute, really cute. I don't actually the the brush holder. I might want that brush holder. That's cute even though I've never used a Trixie Cosmetic product in my whole life, in my whole life. And if we're looking at the blushes, realistically, the only two I would want would be that like, orange one, because I love an orange blush, and the one right next to the orange blush. But I wouldn't want any of those pinks. Maybe that lavender, that lavender blush is like interesting as a concept of a blush, but I saw Suku do it, and I would rather try a Suku blush than this. Does that make sense? So I'm just, I'm not vibing, but I do appreciate a blush release, but it's too cutesy for me. It's just not it. But I understand that some people are really into the, the cutesy and that's that. Okay, let's, this is the first I'm seeing this. So 
Beauty Blender is releasing the Bounce Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. A matte bronzer smooths and blurs the skin with velvety texture and blends seamlessly for a natural definition. It interacts with your skin's unique pH for a custom buildable bronze moment. A bouncy gel cream highlighter infused with a hyaluronic acid and vitamin C for a soft dimensional radiant finish. So it comes in four shades. Deep, The deep one is actually pretty deep. I do feel like we're missing something between the... The next deepest shade, like I feel like they're, I feel like we're missing something, but I guess it matches to your pH. Now, I've never heard of like a bronzing product matching to your pH because the pH stuff is normally like, here's a hot pink thing, here's a thing that's clear that's gonna be hot pink, here's a thing that's black that's gonna be hot pink, here's a thing that's green that's gonna turn hot pink based on your pH. This is not at all, well, okay, I, I am intrigued. Like, I wanna try this, but it's like literally not something I would ever buy. Like, it feels, so it feels so just like, why would anyone need this? It feels so, um, ooh, what is the word? What is, it's um, a gimmick. It feels gimmicky, sort of. And so, but I like that, I like, I, I like that Beauty Blender is really, we're not, we, we've, we've moved on from the sponge and we are now innovating some interesting things. And this could turn out to be really good, right? Maybe that pH nonsense, works out for this. It does feel like just nonsense to me. I always appreciate a cream uh, cream highlight and I do like cream bronzers, but I'm I'm so happy with my cream products at this point that this would make no sense for me to bring in unless explicitly my audience wanted to see me review it. Now audience do not do this to me just to make me suffer. You'd have to be genuinely interested in it. But anyway, I, I'm rooting for this, but I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> I think that, like, I'm rooting for it in the way that I, I want people to be interested in it because I'm, like, a little bit keen on it. Like, I want to see someone else review this, but, like, not for me. It isn't for me. Farsali. Farsali's launching products? I thought Farsali said, no more, no ma'am, no more. What are we doing? What is it? Rose gold elixir. Do we already have that? The unicorn, are they just, are they back? They're back. They're relaunching. New formulas. New packaging. I guess we're going to start dripping oil on our faces again, everyone. Prepare, gird your loins. We're here. We're doing it. Here's actually, there's actually a slide about this. So I'm going to read it because I'm super interested. Because whenever I was working at Sephora, Farsali like got removed like it was like a whole thing so in 2020 our business operations came to an end we began focusing on the most important thing to us family it was a challenging year for the entire world in 2021 we became hopeful and slowly started rebuilding we began reformulating our core Farsali products although our original formulas did not contain any controversial and unsafe ingredients we wanted to be more mindful of our ingredients and packaging we recognize that our brand has a much more significant potential impact on the world than we ever imagined in 2022 we have started a new chapter balancing family and life while rebuilding our business on new terms. Welcome to the new Farsali. 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 <laughs> All I need to know is that whenever we, if, I hope that these products, like the, the, the packaging is really recyclable. Like you can recycle a lot of it, most of it. Because that would be really great. I, I and I, I'm not one, to, I'm not keen on clean beauty. I'm not keen on it. I don't, I don't, I don't buy into that. And I'm not saying it's wrong if you are someone who is invested in clean beauty and that's the way you like to navigate through the beauty industry. But it, it does it does feel like there is some fear happening with brands. And like, I'm not calling out for sale explicitly. But there are definitely brands who are like, we need to have clean formulas or not, no one's going to buy it. And I just don't think that it has to be it. Especially I do feel like it's often something that people use to mark up products. And I think Victoria Beckham, which is a brand that I kind of like, does that. Like they definitely like mark things up because it's like, it's natural. Except Bare Minerals has very tempered pricing. And I think they're, they're supposed to have some of the cleaner formulas too. So what do I know? What do I know? Gucci is releasing a really over... An, an, uh, okay, now I realize I have made some Gucci purchases. Okay, I have made a Gucci purchase. I, I have been wearing a, Gu a Gucci. I've done it, okay? I've done I made them. I've done it, okay? Not a, not a $50 lip balm and not a $76 setting spray or hydrating mist. The Brume de Beauté. Dunkin' Donuts partnered with Elf and released a thing. 
And, you know, <laughs> I don't, so many people that I follow on this application, on this YouTube.com and on the Instagram.com, the application Instagram that one can download on their phone, were very interested in this. And I... I Okay, I'm not from Boston, and also if you're not from America, I guess that doesn't make a lot of sense, but like, I don't care about Dunkin' Donuts. It's not my preferred coffee, coffer, co coffee, coffee, coffee retailer. And I, I'm, I'm saying that as someone who does prefer Starbucks, but I don't even really like Starbucks. I'd rather go to an independent coffee shop that makes like a good mocha. If you're from Pittsburgh, Espresso Amano. That's where I'm, that's where I, if I was going out of my way to get a coffee, it's going to be Espresso Amano. Okay. Not Duncan. And so I don't care about, I don't care about this. It's fun though. It's fun. I feels it feels youth, it feels youthful to look at. It feels youth, it feels, I feel younger for having seen it. And, but I, I feel curmudgeon-y and old for having said, not for me. Okay. Let's circle back to what I previously said about Gucci. I see something from Gucci. I see. What are these? What are these? <gasps> Liquid matte lipsticks. Forty-two dollars. <laughs> Forty-two dollars. Ah! But mm, I don't know. I try that. They look pretty. <laughs> I, I would try it, but I wouldn't. I, I, here's the thing. When it, I was thinking about this the other day, there are people who are so into lip products so into lip products they like love the lip product they want to try all the lip products and it it, it ain't me <laughs> it ain't me you i i have i i ha you give me one nude lipstick and i'm okay <laughs> like i would just use it for every look I, you, maybe that's what I, sh I should commit to, to less no i love having a red lip and every now and then i like to put a really bright pink lip on and you know so i do like to play with my lip a little bit but not enough to warrant me spending $42 to try a lip. Like, I don't think I'm the person to review a lip product for you. Like, I don't know that, like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to do that for you. And I'm not gonna do that for me either. While I'm not running to the hills to buy it, but it, it, it if I was in a store that sold Gucci cosmetics, I would be like, can you put that on my hand? Can I just like, can you see that? I just wanna see that. Looks like there's an eyeliner too, but I don't care about eyeliner. There's an orgasm dry body oil, which we know I love body shiny things. So that's interesting in a way that I know it's summertime because all these shimmering body oils are coming out and I'm like all about it. I'm all about it. Would I get Nars orgasm though? No. How passe? Like how passe? Like, uh, like, you know, it's just, you know, the people who, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Let me work on this. Let me workshop this a little bit. Let me workshop this thought. If you are someone who is in the beauty community and you love NARS orgasm, I love that for you. But I think even you, even you, lover of NARS orgasm, can admit that the amount of the assault on us with all of these products based off this one blush is absolutely asinine. To me, I'd be embarrassed if I was wearing this body shimmer and someone said, what is that? And I had to say NARS orgasm. Because like saying orgasm like as a cosmetics name is like it's just like passe like we're past the point where that feels like fun now i realize they're doing it for like brand recognition but like i think the part of the part of the fun of like buying nars orgasm when when it originally launched and before we had all of these knockoff versions of it that they have done themselves was that you would like be at the office and you would scroll past Nancy's dress and you would do like one of these just to like bring attention to your face. You'd be, or like, you know, when you have like, when you just get engaged and you have like an engagement ring and you like start just doing things with your hands and like bring attention to your hands, you'd be doing that with your, you'd be like doing this as you're walking past Nancy's desk and Nancy would be like, that's the most beautiful blush I've ever seen. Janet, Janet, what is that blush? And Janet goes, it's called <laughs> orgasm. And like, that's, that's how I imagine the interaction going in like 1995, whenever this got originally launched. But like, it's, it's 2022, two years ago, we had a song called WAP come out. It's, we're past it. We're past it. We're past the mystique of an orgasm. Now, if you started marketing or like this for men, like, because men need to help women find their orgasm sometimes. Like, not that women can't find their own orgasms, but do you know what I mean? Like, they need help. Like, help the men. The hetero men. Actually, stop. Less less help for the hetero men. <laughs> Actually, don't do that. So, Artist Couture released the 
Supreme Mauves. Now, the Supreme Nudes was a palette that I looked at longingly a lot, especially when I worked at Sephora. I would like look at it and go, that feels like something I need, which I love. I love that it was like almost olivey based nude. nude. There was like that green in it. You know, I love a green. I love a green. I love a green eyeshadow. I think this is pretty. And I think that this will sell well. As someone who has a massive, well, I don't, not even the most massive, but has an incredibly large beauty collection. This is not something I would need to bring in, but it is incredibly beautiful. It's it's like really pretty. It's it's really pretty. The, the way they've photographed it and the way they're marketing it with that, just like that one spotlight coming in from the side and like just making all of the glitter particles and all of the eyeshadows that have that shimmer to it really just pop. And like the nudes are really pretty, like these mauve leaning nudes. It's a, it's a smart release. It's a release that's going to do well. It would be something that if someone came into Sephora and they were like, I'm looking for something easy, but I can take it tonight, but I'm not really a makeup wearer. This is like the perfect thing. This is like the perfect thing. I think this is great. I think this is a smart release. I, I see who this is for. I can't complain about it. I really like it, it would be really boring for me to say like how boring this is, because I think we all know that like in the grand scheme of things is like not the most exciting release for like for like someone like me to talk about, but it's smart. Wet n' Wild is doing a collaboration with Care Bears. It's really cute. It's certainly cute. We've made it. We've made it to the one thing that I definitely knew I wanted to talk about. Patrick Ta released the Major Dimension 2 Rose Eyeshadow Palette. Much, much like I just said about the Artist Couture. Smart release. Smart release. I, I, while I understand that this is definitely rosier than the Major Dimensions 1 eyeshadow palette, I gotta say, we didn't stretch very far, right? We just, like, we didn't, like, reimagine it too much, right? It still feels very same. Very same, same. And I understand that from Patrick Ta I'm not gonna get well I not even brights but like we could have done like something that leaned more army green or something that had like a navy in it but no it was like we went from nude and then we just like turned the notch a little bit pink and then that's what we got again smart again I Maybe not again. I, mean, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but like I really would like to try. <laughs> I would like to try this. I don't know. I'm not this. I think I would still get the first iteration. Like that's still the one I'd be more interested in. Like these cranberry shades are really pretty. They would look really great on my green eyes. Like <laughs> not to knock myself up a bit, but like it would look really good on me. I just don't know that this is the one that I would want. It's not the one that I want. Woo woo woo. It's it's pretty, but it just. And again, I think it will sell well. But does this feel like a spring release? I just feel like we're all, we're, like this feels like a fall release, especially in some of the photographs. It looks pretty dark with the exception of, you know, some of the lighter shades, but it looks much deeper maybe than the original one. But I could be wrong. Like you never know with the photography that they put on here, but this feels more like a fall release to me than it does like, let's put this out for summer. So I'm, I'm, I'm missing something. There's also gel eyeliners, like new, new shades, but who cares? Like, I mean, I don't care. I don't care about gel eyeliner. So one size revealed the cheek clapper. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a big fan of Patrick Starr. Is that his name? Anyway, the guy, the person who owns this company. But that got me. <laughs> that hit me from the side. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. Cheek club <laughs> Blush trios. And then, okay, so there are six blush trios. So... Uh, me, okay, so it looks like a, a cream, a matte, and then a, sh a shimmer. I don't know if it's designed to use all three. I'm just looking at them. And, you know, honestly, 
maybe, for, and you know, I'm a blush connoisseur, so I really love blush. I really do. I really do. This is definitely, to me, of one size's releases, the most interesting thing they've done. Also, I and I thought they were tr- they they. It's almost like they were trying too hard with all of their other releases to be real clever with the same. But this one got me. This one got me, and I have to give credit where credit is due. It's called the Jim Clever. <laughs> okay, what was the name of the bronzing one? Made for shade. That's also great. That one feels that feels a little more try hard than the cheek clapper, but the cheek clapper really got me. <laughs> okay, so three texture blurring shades with matte. Like I, I like both. I, I am, I am down. Wait, is there how many of them are there? There's six of those too. Looks like there are six of those, and it goes pretty deep. Patrick, Pat, Patrick. Congratulations. You, this is the first time I've ever had the inkling of an inkling of wanting something. And I think I like, I like the idea of both of these products. I like the, I like the uh, bronzer. Love a bronzer. Love a blush. Mama. I need, it's like, my brain's like, I should, but you know, being reasonable, this is not something I think I would ever buy, but Maybe if it gets really good reviews, it might pique my interest enough to want to try, you know, to, and you, you, hi, subscribers, hello. It's very rude of you to feed into my blush ego. I love blush. You seemingly love blush too. You want me to own all of the blushes? I don't not want that for me, but you, you encouraging it is atrocious and you must be stopped. However... We got some blushes to coming in to review and to talk about and to discuss and love together. But you've done this to me. You wanted a summer blush, then you're getting a summer blush. And if you guys say that this is something that you would like to see me talk about, we might do it. We might do it. Like this is actually the most interesting thing I think I've seen so far in this critical sass. And I'm I'm not above it. I'm not above it. I have a gift card, so it wouldn't even really hit my budget too hard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, all the blondes are sold out before I got to it from Sephora. So I might have to buy it from Bare Minerals. But I just got a gift card from work. And I was like, I'll buy the blondes with this. No, of course not. During the sale, Mama, they said no. Absolutely not. Moving along. What is this? The Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronze and Highlight Palette. Miss. A, a, a swing and a miss. It's... No. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. For Fenty was a brand that launched under the idea that beauty needs to be made for all and every person needs their one thing that's going to work from them for them, right? We have an expansive shade range in our foundation. We have an expansive shade range in almost everything that we make, right? They just do the most, right? Their eyeliners, their brow pencils, they, they make as many shades as they can to try to hit everything. And then you go put all of your bronzers a couple highlighters in a palette and say, this is for everyone. It's absolutely not. It's that you put out this palette. People with really deep complexions are not going to be able to use all those things. People with really fair complexions are not going to be able to use those things. Maybe someone who like falls right in the middle, something with like a very pure medium skin tone could use some of these, like all of these in some fashion. But in the reality of it, none of us need this. And also Fenty, if we were interested in your bronzer or if we were interested in the other products in here, we already bought it as a single. And so this is a miss. Like, what are you doing? Like, it feels like Fenty is like either hits the mark dead on anymore, or they're so far away from the mark that it's like they've lost, they've lost everything in translation. Like, I just don't know what they're doing. Like, what are we doing, Fenty? Because this, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. It's almost as bad as the lip gloss that we were supposed to attach to our hip and use our fingers to apply in the middle of a pandemic. And then you released a new shade of that, which makes me believe that people bought it, which is upsetting. Don't buy this. Don't encourage this paper. Stop buying face palettes that are for all. That's what we all need to do. We all need to make a commitment. Now, if there is a release like the Patrick Ta one, which is a series of face palettes, six face palettes, and they knock it out of the park with all the shade ranges, you can buy that, right? Because there's one specifically designed for something, either your like your exact shade, right? Something designed, a face palette designed for you to be able to use all of the shades. This is not that. This is not. If there were seven of these and they were all like specific designed for different skin tones, maybe, but this isn't it. 
Fenty missed the mark. This is bad. Melt Cosmetics. Uh, hey. Mm, uh. I love the reds and the greens. I know that people, you're immediately going to jump to Christmas, but they're complimentary colors, baby, and they look really good on the eyes together because, you know, when I put red on my eye, my green eyes go, they just, they pop right on my face, right? So it's pretty, but I have think, I think I've come, I... I think a lot of people fall on either side of the melt debate. I think I have finally concluded that melt eyeshadow formulas are just not for me. But I think the new packaging for the Gemini is pretty. I bet, but this, this is, uh, yeah, melt, melt would have to do, well, they have done in the past. I really liked the, the Muerte palette. I did get, I did pass it on to someone who's now using it way more than I ever did. And, I liked it and I, I, it, it did what it needed to do. Right. And it was like a really interesting color story. And I also liked I, the, the Vita palette. Was that what the other one was called? That collection, gorgeous, stunning, amazing, beautiful, incredible. If we, I see something like that from Melt again, but like it does, it does feel like Melt is just like monochrome this, monochrome that. And then like three shades, like it's like a monochrome palette. And then like the three shades in the end are like, why are you here? Like, they don't make sense. I mean, in this case, like, the reds, reddish, ruddy shades with the green shades make a lot of sense. And the green shades are really pretty. But I'm not really actually a big fan of, like, the Melt Shimmer Formula. It feels a little chalky to me. It's not my fave. It's not my fave. And, you know, other people have had their <laughs> eyeshadows, like, grow out of the pans in their palettes. So I don't really know what that's about either. So, you know what? It's just, I think we just better not. Interesting. Rum Beauty. Joe Zolta. Rem Beauty chose Ulta. They're selling in Ultas. I understand that Ariana already sells her fragrances at Ultas, but her makeup's going to Ulta. Shh. Sephora, what's going on? What are the details? Give me the song facts. What's going on there? I got back, I got caught up on Trend Mood. I'm checking Makeup Release Radar to see if there's any like indie things happening. I'm not seeing anything on Makeup Release Radar. I checked Beauty News Official and I didn't see anything that I was interested in. So I think that leaves us with this. I'm done. <laughs> high, high points, the cheek. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying like this about a one size product because I like literally thought I would never, never say high compliments to a one size product, but like both the name and the product seem pretty fun. So that really was the high point for me. Low point is that I don't have Charlie XCX tickets yet because they haven't gone on sale, but I have the pre-sale code baby and you know, I'm going to be doing it up. Mama, I'll be going to that concert. But if you haven't listened to Crash, stream Crash or buy it, you won't be disappointed. It's great pop music. Wrapping up, remember to like this video so I can be seen by more people and share it. Remember how I talked about sharing and how it's caring for me to top the video? So if you want to do that, wouldn't hate it. I'm also on Patreon. If you'd like to support me there, go ahead and check me out. And then I also have a podcast. So if you want to just hear me instead of see me, but we might be working on something so you can see us too, but I haven't decided on that because that just means more work for me. And I don't want to do that, you know, like make more work for me. Why would I do that? It's something I often do. But anyway, we're on Spotify. It's called Rec Collect. It's linked down below. We talk about music. And actually this week, the same day this video comes out, we're doing a review of Crash, the album. So if you want to hear more detailed thoughts, it's mostly me just going, this is really good. This is really good. But go ahead and check that out. But typically we talk about music lists and talk about whether the songs are still really good or bad or how they aged and Lots of background and history. It's really fun. So if you want to check that out, check that out. And if you already like that, make sure you share that too. That needs to be spread. Spread the word. Tell the people. Get my body to the people. And that's all I'm all about here. Okay, remember. Okay, first of all, thank you so much for watching. I didn't mean to say that so aggressively, but I almost just forgot to say it in total. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to follow your hoat and you will find me. I appreciate you so much for watching this video again. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Friend.